Hi guys, today I'll be revealing all my pets and make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below if you ever did this and um, I'm also showing my hamster Steve and if you didn't see the video of me revealing my hamster Steve, go and check that video out. Alright, so now let's show my um, pets. Alright, so... Here's Steve the hamster, you don't know that. And um, I'll just say here's Steve the hamster because um, you can go and watch the other video. And um, there's Tom, my Venus flytrap, and it has 16 heads, and it's grown out of one plant, and, and even more growing. And if you get them, do never, ever, ever put anything in it unless it's a unless it's an insect that just died or that's living in it and um the yeah, end it's pretty cool and you also have to get something up, up under like can you tell us there. about your venus flytrap and, and what they, it eats there yeah and they eat insects like flies and stuff and um not stuff that we eat only people only stuff that people that are weird eat so people that are weird only eat insects and stuff and um but plants eat insects and um, can you tell us how it catches yeah. the insects it closes up so what where do they land so like they land inside there and there's a trigger which are the spikes on the inside if you look closely to the camera you can see little spikes inside of the Venus flytrap and um, that's the trigger to make them close so sometimes we have to use so once we so sometimes when we get the tweezers we have to and we feed the Venus flytrap an insect, one of the Venus flytrap heads, an insect. Um, we sometimes have to like sort of scratch the trigger and, um, and it can sometimes take over 12 hours to reopen or a bit longer. So don't like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, just reopen, it looks so cool. If, you, if you're doing that and you have just one head grown out of one plant, you could just get some seeds and plant more, but it could take a month or more months than one if you do that. And, um, Can you tell us how, yeah. how do they actually eat the flies and the insects? What happens they when like, the plant closes? They close in, in one second or sometimes less like this hmm? or like this but but sometimes it it goes like but sometimes when it's really tired it goes like this and what happens to the yeah. fly when it's inside the plant how does it eat it it, it times and tightens and then and then um it sucks all the stuff out of it and then once all the stuff is out of it, it reopens and then it waits for another insect to come in. But the the insect is still in there, inside the Venus flytrap. So sometimes you have to wait for it to drop out until you can um, feed it something. And make sure you guard it of any insects coming into it because they're not be eating one thing that it hasn't eaten before and one thing that it has so make sure you dodge them and now let's show you my 10 sticking sets right so here they are there's a lot of sticks because they're in camouflage and there's a sticking set it's been right there for a mm, long the time glass there. yeah in the glass let's have a look uh, Oh, there it is. Right. Yeah. There it is. There's it's one. right there. What can you tell us about sticking sets, Theo? So, like, they, um, they camouflage on 
sticks and sometimes eat like stuff like those types of leaves. What's it called? Those leaves, can you remember? No. Privet. Oh yeah, privet. And, and then we have to put compost in so they can dig and stuff and um, we put a shotgun pallet inside it um, for a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some rocks in and stuff so if you get a stick insect You'll, you'll have to do what I say, what you have to do with it. Because I know a lot about animals and my mum and my mum knows even more information about them because she's a vet. And all I have to say is, and all I have to say for Steve is, here's Steve, my hamster, because you can go and check out Meet Steve the Hamster YouTube video. You any, any, any other information you want to tell us about your stick insect? Oh yeah, so they can like dig in there and stuff and, and find other bits of grass to play with and um, yeah, and there's ten of them and I haven't even thought up a single name of them because I only thought up two names in the past. But I can call one of them Alex. So we've got one name so far, so we've got nine yeah. more to name. So the one's called yeah. Alex. Is that one that was on the side? Oh, where's it gone? It's crawling. Oh, yeah, Let's the, have a one, look. the one that gone. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that one is going to be called Alex, guys. And bye, guys. If I show you um, my stick insects again, I might have thought up another name for it. And yeah. Do you want to get one on your hand? Oh yeah, let's Okay, well do let's that. get Alex on your hand. I'll just pause. This is Alex, and it's a boy Alex, not a girl Alex. Whoa! By the way, and it just went onto my leg. <laughs> it's on my gentle. leg. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Oh, it's back on my hand. Whoa! It tickles. It tickles. Do you want to put Alex back? Yeah, let's put goodbye. Alex back. So show people how you can put Alex back. This is how you put your stick insects back. Just put your hand or whatever what it was on back where it back where it's meant to live. And is the lid on securely? We don't want to escape him, do we? Yeah, and anyways, this tape can sort of secure okay. secure it. All right, bye guys, and if you didn't hear what I said at the start, rewind back or listen to me right now. Make sure you like and subscribe, and comment down below if you've ever done this. And bell, notifi bell notification. Bye guys. <gasps> bye!